My name is Kat Corrigan. I am a artist and a painter and a teacher. And in 2010, I started doing 30 dogs in 30 days in July. And I've done that every year since. And doing a series like that is wonderful because you're making a commitment. And so that, I would say that that's when I really seriously said, I am an artist and I am a painter and I'm gonna paint. And so that's where I feel like a lot of this has come from is just being able to get the work going every day. I always, I felt more comfortable with animals through a lot of my life than I did with humans. Cause it's I partially, I suppose, because there's not a, you don't get confused about words. It's an unspoken language. And with the animals here, these are all animals that live in Minnesota and they they live in the environment where we live and it's that idea that this is their home and we're infringing on it and kind of that we really need to share <laughs> everything and make sure that the animals have a home too but just to to get people to see these are these are living beings like you and so with the faces especially it's I want people to see that this is an individual, this is an animal, this is a being, there's a soul in there, and they share this world too. It's been really fun. I love painting otters. That's, it's, they're my favorite animal. I think since I was a kid, it was like, I've always loved swimming. And I can still remember that physical sensation of laying on the side, the tiled side of the pool, and just letting yourself slip into the water like you'd see otters do, and then just sliding around down on the bottom. It was just, I love that sensation. And when I was 10, I think, in 1977, the Minnesota Zoo opened. And I loved the otters there. And I would go see the otters all the time. And these are actually the otters from the Minnesota Zoo. I'm a, an acrylic painter, and I paint on black. So all of these are painted on black. And so I have a limited palette. And in that palette, I have Quinacrino magenta, which is more of a purple red. And I have primary yellow, and then I have two blues, thalo blue green and thalo blue red. But all of the colors together, because it's so limited, I'm able to make any color. It's the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And the black, the black is the power behind these. It's kind of the, the dark that's already there, and then you put the light into it. And so I'm really trying to look for the light. I sketch out the piece first. So I've, dr I've drawn the whole thing in. And then with a, with a black animal like the bears, I'll do the negative space around the bear because once you've got the negative space in, you can see the shape so clearly. But once you get the background in, it's not a lot of work to get the rest of the blue to show the, the shape, the anatomy. And I think that's a lot of it is trying to just represent the anatomy of the critters in there too. This is an amazing place to be. And if you walked all the way out to the river, you might have an opportunity of actually seeing some of the otters. And you never know what you are gonna see out there. There's a lot of birds around here, so come on out to the Nature Center. <laughs> and you can see these animals that might be hidden, and there's plenty out in the woods too.